Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you the two pairs of Chanel sunglasses that I picked up about three weeks ago. I went up to Auckland, that's the only Chanel boutique that we have here in New Zealand, and I picked up some makeup and some of that was the newly released, that was the Chanel Bizance collection with those really beautiful Chanel eyeshadow quads and I am wearing one of those today. But I really wanted to take a look at the sunglasses because I've been meaning to get some new ones. Now I am short-sighted, I think you guys also call that near-sighted, so I need them for distance and I've needed glasses for distance since I've been about, probably about 17 years old. So when I get sunglasses, I get them so that there's also a prescription in them as well. So I buy them, then I go to the optometrist and then I get the prescription lenses fitted. And the ones that I've got, they are Prada ones and they would be at least 10 years old. And I've been meaning to pick up some new ones and also I probably need my eyesight tested as well. Now I wear sunglasses a lot, especially that I've got the prescription lens in. I wear them every time I'm outside. I'm usually wearing them on top of my head on usual days. And so they're ready to use when I go outside, if I have to do things outside, whether it's with the dogs or the chickens or the cows or other things on the property, or I use them whenever I drive as well. Now, while I was at the boutique, as I was saying, I picked up the makeup. I'm not going to show you that. You'll be able to take a look at those videos showing those newly released quads if you want to take a look at that. I also picked up the new, these are the Chanel oversized highlighters. I picked up two of those, one in coral and the other one in the pearly white. And I also have done a video on that as well. So when I purchased all these goodies, she also gave me a few gifts as well. And one of them was the, these have been around a while, I think, but she was able to find some for me. And these are the Chanel hair clips. So I've got two in my hair on the side and I've got one on the side. So before I put them in, I held them up to the camera so you guys can take a closer look. So one, as you can see, has got the Mademoiselle writing on it. The other one is like the Chanel number no. five bottle and then the other one with the Chanel logo. I think these are really lovely and they actually work really well as clips. I have quite a lot of hair and they do clip really firmly in place. And I just think that they're really pretty. The other thing that she put in was a lot of Chanel sublimage samples. Now, I'm not gonna show you them all, but she did give me, I think it's at least three samples of the sublimage Le Tint. This is the foundation. So she gave it to me in my shade, which is number 30. So this is the sample size. And there's quite a bit in these and I have tried this because I hadn't tried this foundation before and I really like it so at some stage in the future I will do a video on this showing you what it looks like so I think I've worn this about four or five times and I've still got some in this sample tube so I won't actually have to buy the full size for quite a while but I will put a little bit just on the back of my hand just so you can take a look this is a really beautiful foundation it gives a really beautiful finish to the skin as well. Of course, I can't control how much comes out of the tube, so quite a bit has come out. But it has got those skincare ingredients, which is typical of the Sublimage line. I thought this may be a little bit too much with my oily skin, but it actually works really beautifully. Of course, we're now at the end of winter now, so the weather is cooler, but I'll also test this out in the summer as well. But I do think it is a really beautiful foundation. And my SA also gave me as a gift, this is a really lovely travel case. You could use it for makeup or you could use it for skincare. So it is a black type fabric with the Chanel logo at the front there. It has a zip opening. So you just put around to the side and the side as well. This feels really sturdy. It's quite durable. And inside up here is, this is all mirror, which I think is really lovely. And it has these two ribbons on the side so that the mirror stays up. And it has quite a decent compartment inside to fit quite a few things. 
and inside is fabric as well which I think you'd be able to wipe with just a soft wet cloth if you wanted to give it a clean up I think this is really good and I am going to use this when I go overseas later in the year and it'll sit really well on a table and since it's such a good size mirror this will be really great I could even do my hair with the size mirror and my skincare and makeup as well. So that is a really, really lovely gift. Now because the mirror is so huge, there's gonna be a big reflection if I hold it up, but I just wanna show you the inside of the case. I'll hold it up so hopefully that you don't get to see the reflection of the mirror. So here is the inside of the case. And as I was saying, it is it's quite sturdy and quite durable, so I think it's going to make a really good, just a really good little travel case just for some extra bits and pieces. So just before I show you the two pairs of sunglasses that I got, when I was in Auckland, I did a little bit of videoing there while I was there. So one part of the video is at Auckland City, it's near the waterfront and it's in an area called Britomart. So I did a minute or two of videoing around there. And then after I had purchased the sunglasses, then we went to another part of Auckland, probably about 10, 15 minutes away in the Auckland area, and that is Mission Bay in Auckland, and that's where we had some brunch. And I also took a little bit of video footage there as well. So first of all, before I show you the sunglasses, I'll just show you the footage that I took around Auckland City near the waterfront in the Britomart area. I ended up buying a black pair of sunglasses and also a white pair as well and I think both are really lovely. So first of all I'll show you the black sunglasses. These are in a rectangle shape. They are quite big and they're quite wide at the side which I think is really great at protecting your eye area. So this is the box that it comes in and it did have a ribbon around it as well but I haven't been able to help myself and I have been trying these on every now and then. I'm just so happy that I bought them. I think that they are really lovely. And then inside the box is a booklet and you also have a little cloth as well just to clean your glasses and this is the Chanel case. I think it's really lovely. It is a fabric and it just feels really really beautiful so it just opens up and it has a magnetic closure so these are the black rectangle ones that I got these are described as rectangle sunglasses and they're acetate and on the side which I really love they have calf skin so I will hold that up for you to take a closer look I think these are a great size nice and big to really protect all this eye area and as I was saying quite wide here as well so you get a bit of protection through there as well but I think they are really gorgeous and there is quite a bit of light reflecting here on the glasses but I will hold them up a little bit closer turn the lights down so you'll be able to see it without those lights reflecting in them as well 
So these are 100% UVA and UVB protection CE lenses and they are UV category filter 3 and these are made in Italy. Now the dimensions of these glasses so the frame width is 121 millimeters and the height is 40 millimeters and from here to the middle we have 53 millimeters. These have the calf skin on them and that's why I just love them. They have that really textured look with the Chanel logo there. The length of the arms they are 140 40 millimeters and what I also love about these glasses as well is this part around here is quite thick and I also love the gradient on the actual lens itself as well and if I turn them around you can see in here there's quite a sturdy piece in here that fits on your nose these feel really sturdy when you open and close them I think they are just absolutely gorgeous so I will pop these on so you can take a look. I think I'll also use my other camera and show them to you in natural light as well because there is going to be a bit of reflection with the lights in front of me. So this is what they look like. And yes, there is quite a bit of reflection. But if I turn my head that way, not so much of the reflection going on. But I love the fit of these. I think they are really beautiful. And as I was saying, I love this side piece here and it's not too much it is the gold the interlocked cc's but they're not too big some of the chanel sunglasses are they're quite blingy and i'm not really into too much bling this on the side here with the gold is just enough but i do love this textured part here in calf skin i think it looks just makes it look that little bit more interesting with that texture next to the acetate through here and i love the size of the frames as i was saying i love the gradient of the lens and i also love the thickness round here i think these are really beautiful next pair is a design it's the cat eye design and I actually haven't owned a pair of sunglasses in that design before but once I tried them on I knew that I was going to take them so it's exactly the same box as the other sunglasses came in again you've got the booklet and also the little cloth for cleaning them and the sunglass case itself is also exactly the same so I'll take out these sunglasses so you can have a look now these are the cat eye ones. They are described on the Chanel website as sporty and chic. And I would agree with that. I love the coloring of the frame. I think they are very chic. I just love these. And again, the lenses in these are gray with a gradient. And really what I love about these the most, I'm gonna open up the arm and just gonna hold the glasses a little bit closer. And this is this pearl detail on the side with that just that little hint of gold as well and just the small interlocked cc's here on the side the arm is smaller not as wide as i would really like but it didn't bother me i just thought the design of these were really lovely and i'll just interchange between the two different sunglasses just depending what i feel like wearing that day and again, these are 100% UVA and UVB protective. They are made in Italy. The other sunglasses that I bought were prescription friendly, of course, because I need the prescription lenses and these are prescription friendly as well. Now, on the lenses or some brands that you buy here, you can tell because there is, well, it depends which country they come from, there is a little, it's an RX, usually on the inside of the arm. The Chanel sunglasses don't have that. But if you go to the Chanel website and look up the sunglasses, it will say if they are prescription friendly or not in the description box of each different sunglass style. So these sunglasses across, they are 128 millimeters across from the outside here to the middle. They are 56 millimeters. 
the height here is 40 millimeters and the arm length that is 140 millimeters and again these feel really sturdy and a decent piece here to sit on your nose as well so now I'll pop these on so you can take a look and again I will show you these out in natural light as well because there tends to be a little bit of reflection in here these are lovely and I wasn't driving since my husband took me up to Auckland and we went out for the day so I sat in the passenger seat and these are the ones that I wore home I love this cat eye style I think it is it's just something different like I said something that I haven't worn before but I think they look I just think they look really beautiful so I'll just turn to the side so you can take a look at them but they fit really well they sit really firmly of course sunglasses especially with me when I put them on the top of my head they do stretch and they're easily tightened anyway but when you initially buy them they are very very sturdy So I am absolutely thrilled with the two pairs of sunglasses that I got. These two are probably going to last me for another 10 years at least. So now I'm going to make an appointment at the optometrist so I can get my eyes tested and also the prescription lenses fitted as well. So now I'm going to show you part two of the video footage that I took. As I was saying at the beginning of the video, this was out of Auckland City, about 10 or 15 minutes towards the waterfront, and it's in the Mission Bay area. So I will love and leave you here. Thanks so much for watching this video. I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed, and I will see you next time. Bye. <music>